All right, another episode of 10 Minutes With, where we're looking at as many World's Strongest Man competitors as possible. Today, we're having a chat with France's representative, Coco. How are you, Coco? Good morning or good evening. Yeah, I'm good. Yourself? I'm good. I think one thing that I haven't heard you actually talk about is your tie to France, because obviously you're in Australia. Yeah. But tell me about how you're French. Well... I uh, grew up in a French island called uh, New Caledonia. Um, so I'm 100% French. Um, my dad is French. My mom is French. My grandparents are French. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> <my name. laughs> Did you have any pushback from any French strongmen? Not at all. I think most of them were very supportive and they were, they were very happy uh, that one of the yeah, athletes actually represented France last year. Yeah. Yeah, but most of the French people that do strongman back home uh, already followed me for a long time now, you know, because they they saw my name and my name is like pretty much French. So they started uh, following me a while ago. And yeah, some of them um, have been messaging me since uh, 2019. Yeah, yeah. No, that's awesome. That's awesome. Now, last year you went to Worlds and I think... You were one stone load away from making the finals. You're that close. Yeah? Yeah. Um, does... Go ahead. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, uh, once in a way against the uh, Ethel, yes. But it had to uh, fairly ease. I had to keep going. But, yeah, it was a, it was a good one. Yeah. Close yeah absolutely. absolutely. How are your expectations different going into your second Worlds compared to your first? Well, first of all, it'd be not as scary because you don't want to go for a big show like that, especially when you only knew a few amount of athletes and, you know, it's a different country, different crowd, uh, a bit scary at first. But yeah. second time would be so much easier because you met friends and you feel more relaxed coming uh, to the camp. And the events are, I would say from for myself, they're much better. Okay. So, yeah. Obviously, we've got the log ladder in there. That's your bread and butter. Will you do the grace of strict pressing the final log? No. My coach <laughs> told me not. <laughs> you say your coach. You, you're working with laws right now, and that's been really quiet. How come? Why has it been so quiet? What do you mean, quiet? I never saw anyone talk about it i never saw you actually like say you were working but, with him. i do my thing i miss the gym uh, you know i don't know like uh, i focus on my work instead of yeah. you know being on social media stuff uh obviously i'm seeing him in that uh in europe so obviously i think it'd be more more loud there because he's gonna be there but yeah. i just do my you know as it's in coach relationship and myself a coach just keeping down low and do your things you know yeah yeah, like, I'm not like, so good at that. Huh? <laughs> I said, I'm not so good at that. <laughs> yeah, you're famous now. <laughs> now, yeah. you're doing, you're, you're still doing Europe, hey? Yeah, always. You know, you just, uh, I'm, I can't take off my work and I, I send him, uh, you know, some videos and ask him questions sometimes, but it's pretty straightforward, you know. Yeah, it's but you have someone. You're going to Europe, yep. Strongest Man? Yeah, so I'm flying uh, on the 28th. Cool. A 20 hour flight. That's going to be a great test because that's basically the heat events for World Strongest Man, right? Yeah, pretty much. Most of the events are similar. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And you just said our flight. And Ariel's not going with you, is she? No, she's, um, she's uh, due soon. So we said I don't have okay. to fly when she's due that soon. Yeah, so anyone who doesn't know you, Coco's wife is, she's eight months pregnant right now? Uh, yeah, she's uh, 37 on Monday. Yeah. So how is it going to be? I assume there's no plan of her coming to Myrtle Beach, right? Oh, uh, no, because I think she'd be wrecked after giving birth, you know? It's pretty... Yeah, <laughs> you'd imagine. You'd imagine. I feel like her, but I guess it's, uh, it's hard. That's crazy. It's going to be a whole nother level for you 
in terms of you're going to have your first child born for about a week and then you're heading off to to take a week and a half to go do world's strongest man yeah on vacation <laughs> no <I'm kidding. laughs> no i mean like, i think uh as long i think she was very supportive and uh you know in, she knows i in poland or seven and south of me and you know especially for everything around me all my friends and you know people that follow me yeah and uh yeah, it's just it's gonna be like it's gonna be, I think, crazy, especially at this at this time. You know, when once birth is done, uh, the baby is sleeping very well. I believe, and you know, nothing much happened. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, everything goes according to plan. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Very exciting. Very exciting. Do you reckon you're gonna try to get him into strongman when the time comes? Of course, he's got a gym already, so uh, strong man and obviously education. As strong, stronger than me and smarter than me. <laughs> yeah, right. Is it is it going to be harder to be stronger than you or be smarter than you? I want him to be both, you know. I want him to be what I couldn't become. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. So tall? <laughs> because I have I told a world's strongest man. Yeah. <laughs> um, talk to me about back to world's strongest man. Talk. Talk to me about your expectations going into 2023. Well, obviously, it's to make it to the finals and have a play with you guys. Mm -hmm. Um, the events are pretty good, I will say. They're pretty cool. You know, there's no your carries, it's a <laughs> good carry. Good day. They lift event, good log, uh, good uh, overhead events. Um, yeah, they, those events this year are very straightforward. Uh, you know, especially I think since we are by the beach, I expect some of the events to be uh, on the beach as well. So yeah, so I'm gonna have a play by the beach uh, once I'm back from uh, England. Yeah. Do you know Laws in my program? Laws was putting um, he was putting medleys, and he said, "Do this in sand if possible." And I'm like, mate, I it's literally winter. <laughs> so, I yeah, him, uh, like you know, in the carry medley, yeah, he's like, oh, do it in um in the sand as possible. I'm like, you might like, fuck, means I have to carry all my shit <laughs> to the beach. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> um, what do you think you're gonna surprise people with this year? Uh... The carries, I would say, the the, the moving events. No. Okay. You've gotten faster. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, faster. I've been, you know, doing lots of conditioning work. I'm filler. So yeah, it's just being filler with the weight because uh, yeah. you know I put on weight. Yeah. Because that was the hard, just to to remain fit while being bigger. Because you know you slow down slightly, but yeah, everything I would say, just the carries. Yeah. Um, the log, uh, it's fed forwards. As long, obviously, I don't injure myself or have a tweak at the ropes, should be fine. Yeah, yeah. Now, people who follow you know how important thickness is to you. Yeah, thickness. Yeah. So, what what body weight are you at right now? I'm 130 to 131 or sometimes 132 in good days. Nice, because the project to get over one thirty—that's a long time coming, huh? Yeah, it took like three years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, now, one of your long-term goals—do you have a goal of winning World Strongest Man at some stage in your career? No, uh, it's uh, just do well. There's, you know, there's uh, limitations. Uh, if I was maybe younger, yes. But well, this it's purely for the be part of the this uh this event uh this event with everybody else and yeah. trust to make it to the finals and do do your best you know yeah absolutely. you can you, there's already like you, it's 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 pretty much you can tell who's gonna win and you know by their physique and by the strength level but most of us I would say just to do it for the experience and make it to the finals and be in the finals and you know yeah that's a uh, that's there's not many of us that can make it to the to WSM anyway. So being there is already uh, you know amazing. Yeah. Make it to the final. 
Now you said sure. based on physique and strength levels, etc., you can choose. You, you can see who's going to win. Who do you think? Give, yeah. me, give me like a top three in contention this year. You think? Oh, we we'll see. Um, you've got Tom yourself, um, Novakov. Um, I would say Trey Mitchell, obviously, is strong as is it. This is like it is a there are a handful of athletes that actually can you know make it to the to the first place. It depends how much mistakes you make and yeah how your body's hand and you know it could be if you can don't hurt yourself and be smart with your uh, your decisions. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool thing this year. I reckon you could list seven guys who could reasonably win. Like even. Um, even Evan is up there, Evan Singleton. And we've got Brian, who, like, the finals events are really good. It's going to be an exciting year. Yeah, yeah, of course. Be, um, especially uh, this is uh, Brian's last year, so he will give uh, all his best. Yeah. Be a good, good show. Yeah. Now, you've got a cool tattoo on your forearm, which leads me into your la my last question. Your tattoo says only the strong survive. Yeah. Uh, more generally speaking, what, what does it mean to you to be strong? To be strong, it's a it's it's a it's a mindset and also you know a lifestyle. It doesn't mean like being strong as in like oh you have to lift the heaviest weight. So being strong has to happens within you no know, within within yourself. You know you need to have a strong mindset to to uh, withstand life events and uh, be strong to do things that you really want to do in life. Don't let people tell you that you can't do it. Just do it and show them that you can do it yes. that way. Yeah, I think there's a there's a couple of guys who have given similar answers, and I think it's cool how many of us use it to be able to handle all the difficult things in our life on top of doing it at the world level. So I love that. A strong man life is a hard life. It's a good life, but it's a hard life. We have to sacrifice many things to be where we are now. Yeah. What do you think is the biggest thing you've sacrificed? Um. Well... I would say like, you know, the social aspect of things, you know, you don't do as many things as other people because you while they out or do things, you at the gym training and stuff like that. Yeah. That's a, you know, you just you become, you isolate yourself a bit more than everybody else. I mean, this is a life of a professional athletes. Yeah. You know, while, while are doing things for fun, you just at the gym or training to become better and work on weaknesses. That's what it is. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Well, Coco, I'm going to share with the people something that you don't share a lot yourself, that you are as educated as I am. You're very, very smart. You're a very strong athlete, of course. But uh, I think uh, I think what you're doing outside of it is pretty cool as well, uh, between the gym and obviously family being really important. So um, there's a lot of layers to you, even if you don't put them out there and um, I respect you for not putting them out there because then it doesn't give people the opportunity to criticize. <laughs> yeah. The less you put on media, the less likely people are uh, to uh, criticize you. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? um, well, mate, thank you very much for coming on. Keep training hard, stay healthy, travel safe, and we'll see you over in Myrtle Beach. Where? All right, mate. Take care. Have a good one.